what foods can I eat on the ketogenic diet? Or what foods can I eat on the keto diet? So basically, those are the same thing. It's just uh, keto is short for ketogenic. And if you're not familiar with it, it is a low carb, high fat diet. So basically, you're not wanting to eat sugars and you're not wanting to eat a lot of carbohydrates. You're wanting to have it kind of minimal on those. And it's a healthier diet, especially if you're diabetic, which is why I got into researching it. But it actually turns out it is healthy for everybody to go with this route. The idea of the keto diet is to burn fat instead of burning sugar. So if you're not putting a lot of sugar in your body, then it goes to burning fat for energy. And that means that you lose weight, but also you stay healthier. So what are the foods that you can eat on that? Um, the ketogenic diet is low carbohydrate, high fat diet, and designed to shift your body into a state of ketosis where it burns fat uh, for energy instead of carbohydrates. So some of the common foods that you can have on this diet are uh, number one, meat and poultry. So you can have beef, pork, lamb, chicken, turkey, and other meats that are rich in protein and usually low in carbs. Number two, fatty fish. Salmon, mackerel, sardines, and other fatty fish are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids and protein. I often like to have tuna as one of my omega-3 fatty acid type foods, and that is on the uh, fatty fish uh, one there. Number three, eggs. If you don't love eggs, this may not be the best diet for you, but eggs are a versatile and nutrient-dense food that can be a staple in the keto diet. Pretty much you can have eggs in anything because it has uh, very little carbs, but it does a lot for your nutritional value. Number four, dairy. High fat dairy products like butter, cream cheese, uh, cream uh, cheese, and full fat yogurt can all be included in moderation. So those can be some good ones. If you don't love dairy, you can always just, you know, not have dairy. That's totally cool too. Number five, nuts and seeds. You can eat almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, and other low carb nuts that are, seeds, uh, that are good um, healthy sources of fats and fibers. So that, that gives you energy to burn those nuts and seeds. Number six, healthy oils. A lot of people don't realize that you can use olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, and healthy oils uh, that are essential for cooking and adding fats to your meal. And you want to do those instead of like vegetable oil or the kind of cooking oil that, um, that has been processed. So the more natural, the better on these kind of things, on the, on the best diets. Number seven, you know, uh, non-starchy vegetables. So leafy greens. You're always hearing me talk about broccoli. Uh, the broccoli is a good one. Cauliflower zucchini, um, kale, and uh, spinach. Those are all some low carb vegetables that can be included in your diet. Really, when you're trying to get into a diet, you, you don't want to think about what I can't have, because obviously you can't have sugary treats, you can't have a lot of, you know, like white bread, and white pastas, white rice, those kind of, you, you know what you can't have. But what's really good is to focus on what you can have. So you can have any of the ones I just mentioned. And then number eight, avocados. Avocados are rich in healthy fats and low in carbs, so they make a great choice for the keto diet. And they're really good. You know, you can mix them up into something else like guacamole or something like that. Eat them with some sort of Mexican dish, but you know, not not in chips because those are high in carbohydrates. But other other Mexican type meals uh, with uh, the avocados. The avocados are really uh, rich in vitamin E, so it does good for your skin and your uh, your nails and all that. So we talked about the benefits of a lot of different vitamins. And avocado comes up on a lot of lists, not just the keto list. Number nine, berries, which also come up on a lot of the good lists as well. Uh, while most fruits are high in carbohydrates, uh, berries such as strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Uh, can be consumed in moderation due to their lower carb content. Number 10, cheese. Number 10, cheese. Many types of cheese are low in carbs and high in fat, so that's suitable for the keto diet. Again, your body has to burn energy, has to burn something, and the two things it can either burn is glucose, yeah, which puts a lot of insulin into your body and can create inflammation and you've probably seen that other video, which would be linked up here somewhere, that uh, talks about the diseases you can get from inflammation. So this is more of an anti-inflammatory diet, this keto diet. And it can be, um, so it, it can help with the anti-inflammation and it burns the fat instead of the sugars. So then that means that you're, you're not taking in a lot of sugar, your sugar's going down, but then you're burning fat as well, which means that you can get rid of that little midsection that I'm still fighting for. Number 11, the final one, you can have meat alternatives as well. So like tofu, tempeh, 
and other plant-based proteins can be included if you're following a vegetarian version or a vegan version of the keto diet. But obviously that wouldn't include the eggs, I don't think. So it's important to avoid limiting high carb foods and grains, legumes and sugary foods, starchy vegetables uh, when you're following a keto diet. And then of course individual results may vary and you may want to consult a physician about you know changing your diet, uh, talk to a doctor or a nutritionist to see exactly what's right for you specifically. But this looks like a really good diet because it burns fat and it lowers your sugar and insulin levels to where, uh, but you're still getting energy so that way, uh, if you're diabetic and you're trying to fight those sugar levels and trying to fight that high insulin and the inflammation that comes from that high insulin, then you are going to be uh, golden with this keto diet. Now, there is a book down there in the uh, description down below called The Five Myths About the Keto Diet. You can grab it for free. You just click the link down there. If you like getting free gifts, then go ahead and click the like button as a Thank you for taking the free book. And then also, uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos on how to live longer and put more life into those years. I will see you guys in the next video.